I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and I'm here at Macworld with Steve Bisk of SkyX and Seeker Software Programs. Now, these are beautiful programs for looking at the night sky and the universe that's around us, all the galaxies. Can you tell us a little bit about the program that you have launched this year at Macworld? Our software is uh, one of the top software programs for controlling observatories around the world. And um, so we're shortly going to be controlling all the commercially available telescopes with uh, the Mac version. This is something that not too many other uh, programs do and nobody has got the full gamut of software for um, observatory control and doing like research and, and being able to do discovery of things like minor planets and supernovas. So your, your software is being implemented in observatories and it's, this, it's very similar software that people can actually use in their own homes on their personal computers now. Yes, absolutely. And in, in addition, you, you build these amazing looking telescopes. How powerful is a telescope that's right here behind us? Well, the, the telescope behind us is a 14 inch uh, optical tube assembly and our, the robotic telescope mount that we make, you can put the lots of different optical tubes on it and um, a lot of our customers have um, optical tubes that are as large as 20 inches in diameter and a lot of discovery and a lot of um, um, imagery of deep sky objects is done with these telescope mounts. What's like the most distant object that you can, you can, a person could see by looking through one of your telescopes? Well, if you put a CCD camera on there and integrate over many hours, you can actually see almost to the edge of the universe. There was a, an article in Sky and Telescope, um, I think it was just last month, about somebody using our mount and taking very, very long exposures and, and finding stuff out, you know, that's out near the edge of the universe. The CCD camera makes it so that even, even under not so great skies, you can take one or two minute exposures and exceed what you could do in our exposures on much larger telescopes maybe 30 years ago. So can you show us a couple of things here on the screen? This application here is a 3D um, solar system simulator uh, called Seeker. And what we've got is a bunch of tours that we set up. They take you around the solar system and show you a bunch of different objects in the solar system. All solar system objects are in the database. And as you can see here, we're flying up to one of Jupiter's moons. And then um, you can fly around the moon. And now we're moving up towards another moon here. And um, we've got a lot of narrations on here from uh, planetarium professionals that uh, kind of describe what's going on. So how much does it cost to get one of these telescopes if I wanted one in my garage? Well, the, the, the mount right here is $12,500. The telescope itself is another $5,000, so. So I gotta save my pennies. Yes, you would. This isn't something I can like talk you out of like at the end of the week here? Eh, probably not. Darn it. Right now we're looking at Sky X. It's a program that allows you to look at the constellations in the night sky and get a good idea of what's above you. So Steve, can you run us through what's on the screen here and maybe show us a few interesting features of the sky? Okay, in general um, with this program, you put in your location and there's lots of different ways that you can put in your location. You can click on a world map or you can type in your latitude and longitude. And once you get your location entered, then it plots the night sky as it is at the current time um, up on the computer monitor and then you can speed up time and and select dates that you want to see in the future and quickly jump to them. Here we're, we're showing an animation um, running at a thousand times normal time and you can see the various constellations going by. Do you also have um, uh, like satellites and um, Earth objects from Earth in, the, in this program? Can we track things like you know the space station? Yeah, absolutely. You can um, just go to their dialog boxes where you can go out and it'll go out to the web and get the, the latest satellites, the latest comets, asteroids, and that sort of thing. But otherwise, all the other data for the stars and the deep sky objects are all contained within it and, and you don't need web access for that. That's really awesome. So it's kind of like a uh, Google Earth for the sky. Yeah, it is. How have you gotten the images into this program? Well, it depends on the planet and whether or not a mission has gone there. Um, some of the planets, like the Pluto, we don't have really good maps of, but Mars and the, the closer ones, um, we've used the latest data that, and pieced it together to, to you know, make the best image possible for that planet. This is wonderful. I'm, 
I'm loving this. I think I'm probably going to come back here and spend a couple of hours just like diving into the computer monitor here. Seeker and SkyX software. Now, where can people find your software? Do you have a website? And how much does the software run? Okay, each of the applications is $99, and you can find them at bisque.com, B-I-S-Q-U-E.com. Okay, and so for anyone who's interested in having the night sky in their own computer, taking a look and a tour of the galaxy, the to a tour of the solar system at least, if you want to stay in the local neighborhood, SkyX and Seeker, they're available now, and I think I'm going to go dive in pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Bandwidth for MacBreak is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com.